Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. If you are new here, my name is Shauna and we are a homeschooling family of four. We focus on secular curriculum choices. And today I want to talk with you about what we are planning to keep for the 2022-2023 school year. Please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. This video um, is going to be what the like the things that right now I know we are keeping. The very next video that you see will be things that I know that we are changing. Now, once I have sourced out the materials and things like that, I will do a by grade level video on what we are using, like what we are using for fifth grade that will encompass everything we're going to use and then also for first grade everything we're going to use. So it's going to be broken up a little bit like that. So if you have any questions on things that are, that you don't hear me mention here, wait for the next video. And I'm sure that's going to answer your questions. Okay. So as you guys know, you can find everything I'm talking about down in the description box or down in the comments. If you want to shoot me a question or you can shoot me a DM over on Instagram at making everyday magic. Okay. So this is going to be in no particular order. It's just kind of the way that my brain has compiled it. So for that reason, um, I'm sorry if this feels maybe a little jumbled. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty structured. And this is for our homeschool in general. So some of the things that I know we will be keeping for next year are going to be, let me start with apps. So we're gonna keep our Adventure Academy. We're gonna keep our ABC Mouse and Khan Academy. We're gonna keep Night Zookeeper. Um, and we are planning to keep Generation Genius for science. So those are the things that I know for sure we're gonna be keeping as far as like kind of like online web-based as well as continue using Typetastic. We love it, it's super entertaining and fun. Um, let's see, language arts. We will be keeping all about reading. So my little one is gonna be going into all about reading level three. So we are planning to keep all about reading. Uh, spelling, we will be continuing with All About Spelling. You guys know I have raved about those companies for a long time, we love them. For geography, we will be keeping Evan Moore workbooks. Um, for thinking skills, I will be continuing to source some of those fun thinking workbooks through Amazon like I have done this past year. So I'm really excited about that. You guys know that I absolutely adore every level we've used thus far of Matthew C and I will be continuing that with both girls because I do feel like it works very, very well for us. So until it does not, I will not be venturing too far from that. Something else in the language arts department that we will be continuing is using our um, poodle books from MCT. I think it's just, it's been really great little just kind of intro to the parts of speech, intro to grammar. I'm enjoying it very much, um, but I envision that we will not be through with them. So we'll be continuing them into our next school year. Um, we will also be keeping Timber Doodle kits. Now I honestly um, plan to customize. You guys know that I will piecemeal exactly what I want, cut what I don't, swap what I feel like needs to be swapped. But the base that they give me, I really, really love and appreciate. So I will be continuing to source materials from Timber Doodle. Something else that I know that I absolutely love is the Zaner Blozer handwriting. So we will be continuing that with both girls for for sure. We will be continuing Mom and Me Monday because that structure has served us so incredibly well this year in our homeschool. Absolutely love it. We will be continuing with History Quest. I believe it's Middle Times. I like it very much. They do have a U.S. History unit coming out, um, but it's not out yet. They just sent out a link where you can kind of like preview the books and the like table of contents. So I really need to look at that, but I haven't done it yet. So we will be continuing with those things as well. I'm trying to think if that covers everything that we will be continuing with. And I think, I think that might cover everything that we'll be keeping. So as you guys know, if you want to find out why I love any of these pieces, it's really easy to find here on my channel. You can just search by like Matthew C and there should be quite a like half a dozen videos that pop up. Uh, ditto all about reading, all about spelling. If you want to see 
um, some of the things that I've not specifically mentioned in this video. You can also pull up videos about that or wait until my next video to find out what is changing because there are some things changing because it is time. It is time for a change in some departments. So that is something that we will be doing. You guys know that I do have a really strong relationship, strong opinions on some of the things that we are keeping. I do love all about learning. I have yet to find a piece of it that I don't, I don't truly enjoy. I don't truly enjoy teaching and that my kids don't benefit highly from. Ditto Matthew C. Um, so I will be sharing more about that, more about changes, more about the things that we love here because it is curriculum season. And as you guys know, it's a time to figure out what you are keeping and what you are changing. So this is just a really good time of year to start getting some of those more opinions. Recently, we did um, a little collaboration with Secular Homeschool Moms Group where we talked about our, you know, top three curriculum and one least favorite. So that is also coming up. I've got budgeting video coming up because I think that's really important. And I'm hoping the same nice ladies will come talk with us as well because budgeting is so different for every family. So I'm hoping that we'll get more of that over here. We have tons of fun stuff coming up over on Suitcase Princess because it is the travel season. It is the homeschool uh, field trip days are coming up, like tons of them, but I just don't have the room here to share that content. So I'll be sharing it over there because it kind of bridges the gap between, you know, homeschool and travel. So I'll be sharing that over there. Be sure to go follow us over at Suitcase Princess so you can see more of that. Right now, I am just, I'm gearing up. It is the time when I have made decisions and I am doubling down and I am getting excited about what is to come. I'm very excited to see the, every year, it's like, it's like Christmas. The Timber Doodle release happens kind of at the end of the month kind of thing. Uh, end of April, there we go, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm so excited because they do like a full day of like videos walking through every one of the kits. I'm super excited to see that, see if they've made any changes because I'm basing a lot of my decisions on this past year's catalog because not a ton of things usually change. So I'm interested to see kind of how that goes. Um, also, I'm really excited to keep using some of the things that I know work, that I know I can have a secure feeling and knowing that the investment is going to pay off for us. Um, you know, like Matthew C program is not inexpensive. Ditto all about reading is not inexpensive. Um, Night Zookeeper is super fun, but you can also click my link down in the description box. It will give you half off an annual subscription. So you can try it for free for seven days and see if you even like it, but then you can reap the benefits of some of those a little bit lower cost things. I think it's also the time of year when Generation Genius has a sale um, to just kind of finish out the year. So I think it takes you through to August, but if you wanna get like a trial in, it's a really good time to do that because it is a uh, much lower cost. Again, we love it. We have enjoyed it so much, uh, but based on their model, I don't know how long we can do that, but I am planning for at least another year. So I'm going to have to start working around on seeing what other options are out there, but that's a topic for a whole nother video. So today guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, um, entertaining, or at least informative. I'm hope that by sharing the things that we're using that we've experienced with, it's helping you to make some decisions, get a little bit more information. Uh, look for the changes video that's coming up because that's going to give you, uh, what we're leaving behind, what we're keeping and the whys. So that should be really entertaining. And I will have all of that before the budgeting video. And then we'll see if it all fits in my budget. We will see. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Uh, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. Share with me down below. What are you loving? What are you willing to uh, put your money on and roll with for another year? Because give me the why. We also need the why, okay? Because the why is important. I love this because. Okay, we need the because, because those are the things that are gonna help people make decisions, right? Um, yeah, because you know, online reviews can be kind of be all over the place. So we need the why. All right, guys, thanks again. 